That's too late. The evidence is excluded. The evidence is excluded. I'm going to exclude. I'm going to exclude because I told you that this was going to happen. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We're excluding that. And I'm going to exclude the PowerPoint that you all submit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, you're not going to, you're not going to wholesale introduce it. We had no intention. All right. If, but you all should not be identifying this stuff the moment of trial while the jury's sitting in a box. Please put in the chat, let me know where you're viewing from. So your, your girl... Fonnie Willis, assistant attorney. I'm using the words birds of a feather flock together because they they come with this disrespectful stuff. They don't know how to respect the court. I don't know if it's a thing with black women, but it's a thing. <laughs> and it's starting to look really bad. And maybe maybe it's a Atlanta thing. Let, let's um, say it's a Atlanta thing. Fonnie Willis, we saw, we covered her, uh, her disqualification trial, that hearing. And Fonnie Willis, she, her lawyers was trying to protect her so she wouldn't have to um, uh, testify. And Fonnie Willis bust in the courtroom and said, okay, I'm going to testify anyway, because I'm tired of y'all lying on me. <laughs> you know, she came in with, you know, all the rah, rah, shish, goom, bye. She was very disrespectful to the judge, but I don't think she was as disrespectful uh, to the judge as this lady here, this Adrian Love. Adrian Love is off the chain, and this is not the first time she did this. Sean, why are we not? Why didn't we file this stuff months ago? And let's wind it out and air it out at that point in time. Okay, so I'm going to ask the state their their issue on this. Are you are you? Uh... Are you cutting this out? Did you have discussions with Mr. Mr. Sharp, yeah, we madam? Did. We, we did have discussions. When? Well, this morning. That's too late. The evidence is excluded. The evidence is excluded. I'm going to exclude. I'm going to exclude because I told you that this was going to happen. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We're excluding that. And I'm going to exclude the PowerPoint that you all submit. Uh-uh. Uh, well, you're not gonna you're not gonna wholesale introduce it. We, we had no intention. Your Honor, All right. Let me just be very clear. We did not intend to introduce this PowerPoint today. I have personally reached out via telephone and called at least two members of the defense team to ask them to call me back. And I would like to introduce this PowerPoint. But you all should not be identifying this stuff the moment of trial while the jury's sitting in a box. And this is the last. I'm not gonna. Ha I'm not gonna. I am not going to tolerate this any further. If you don't get together with your colleagues and flag issues and, and, and resolve them promptly, and if I have to take them up, remember, I can exclude them, we'll work the weekends, or we'll do a combination of both. So this time, I'm going to exclude, I'm going to exclude, I'm going to exclude that, those two sections. Mr. Atkins, he confronted this witness with those sections. I last week let them know that we were introducing it's, if the exhibit's not ready and you have made and you he uh, no well he Mr. Shart's got objections to it. But judge, Mr. Shart can get in and have our evidence excluded every day that he makes an objection no. at midnight and then comes in and says. Well, well then you all should, should then you all should have gotten your stuff together no, before then. Some of our juries, please. No, Some of our juries. No. Have a seat, madam. Have a seat. You better exclude it and next time make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're prepared next time. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm just not. Judge, we, we are starting right now. It's 1:20. So we have talked to them. We have said we don't agree. Then file them. a motion and get it before me, and and we'll and we'll take it up. What both of you, honor. both both of you all, both of you all have equally responsibility to do that. The information they are oh, it's going to be an admissible right now. I am not gonna. I am not gonna have any. I'm not gonna have any more discussion about this, madam. I'm not. I don't. Well, you know what? Well, then that's. Well, that's why we have to. I'm not. I'm 
not punishing anybody. But you know, pr but prior preparation prevents poor performance. Be prepared, Josh. That's why I sent them what I sent them last week, a whole week and a half ago, two weeks, y'all. I'm not, well. And I have asked, I have said, I would like to discuss. Our jury's coming in, madam. Our jury's coming in. Have a seat. 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 So that that was their exchange. I don't I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about this. To me, this is a little bit on the crazy side. Is this normal? <laughs> is this normal and customary for a judge and a prosecutor to be going back and forth? Usually when he makes his ruling, the, the prosecutor or the defense attorney usually shuts up. Isn't that? how it normally happens when the judge makes their ruling the ruling is final you don't go back and forth um and then you can actually file a motion like he said well you could file a motion to you know and then i'll take it up but you're you're literally uh arguing with the judge I, I just don't understand that so you like i said you guys let me know <laughs> let me know um somebody put ma'am take several seats exactly <laughs> take several seats he should have held her in contempt that's what that's what normally will happen and i don't know is if it's because uh this judge is black maybe that's what is going on here maybe they're the dynamics and maybe they know each other outside the courtroom but if i was him i'd nip that in the butt i i would have held her in contempt um kevin walker if she was trump lawyer she would have been found in contempt the court exactly this is not the first time this happened about a month ago this very same thing happened and he had to say, just stop it. I made my ruling. Yeah, Justin, you know, jurors were told to report here to the courthouse 930 this morning, but they never heard any testimony. That's because there was a motion hearing. And during that motion hearing, things got really tense. Tense moments inside a Fulton County courtroom during the Young Slime Life RICO trial. I'm Your sorry, Honor. I'm talking, Your and Honor, I don't know why point, I am being interrupted. I will not stop. Hey, 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 hey. I was hey, speaking. Hey, hey. Ms. Lowe. No. Got, got I'm sorry, I was both speaking. Both y'all can't talk at the same time. I know, I was Under speaking and I expect you all allowed to speak when I'm speaking. Hey, both of you all need to just take it down a notch. Defense attorney Doug Weinstein squaring off against prosecutor Adrian Love. Your Honor, I apologize for interrupting the state earlier, but the state can talk the ears off a donkey. We are simply asking that the court <laughs> allow us the opportunity to present the evidence and to not hold it against the state that I am asking this. Weinstein, who's representing Diamante Kendrick, who raps under the name Yak Gotti, filed a motion to suppress a 2015 police interrogation video involving his client after he claims investigators violated Kendrick's rights. He requested his lawyer, he invoked his right to not speak anymore. But prosecutor Adrian Love argued that the interview should be admitted as evidence because after asking for his lawyer, Kendrick then changed his mind and agreed to continue his conversation with investigators. I cannot in good faith not present evidence when we have a whole burden of proof to show the court that it was made freely and voluntarily. Judge Gerald Glanville sided with the defense. He also gave the prosecution an earful. You continually engage in this pattern of behavior, Miss Love. You don't want to accept my ruling. Your Honor, and, 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 and I'm, I, I know you're being an advocate, but at some point, stop. Just stop. I made my ruling. All right, so testimony is expected to continue tomorrow at 930. We are live in downtown Atlanta, Michael Side, Channel 2 Action News. At the Dennis Law Firm, service is everything. Uh, you know what? I, I say this is really sad um, because these are two um, black individuals. You have a DA, a prosecutor um, that's a black female, and you have a judge that's over the court. And her giving him, it's nothing wrong, you know, being an advocate, like he just said. It's not, I don't think it's nothing wrong with, you know, giving pushback to what you uh, feel is right and necessary when you are going towards the prosecute uh the defense team but when you just pushing the judge to um a certain point where he feels as if 
you're trying to not accept him as the authority figure is totally disrespectful to me. Um, and I, I think he sees it as disrespectful, but it does sound like a reality show. And it's like, okay, you have two DAs, both of me acting like that. I could just imagine being a judge in Fulton County. Both of y'all act like that in the court. Real crazy. Um, like he said, you don't want to accept my ruling after I made it. You know, that to me, that's a little bit on the extreme side. Remember, you want to follow that Shawan Burns 2.0 channel. Um, we're, we're reaching a thousand subscribers on that channel. Okay. I am sending all my good to you. I will talk to you tomorrow.